Hey guys, we just got off the train. Hi Julian. Hey. In Rio Maggiore. We are now in Cinque Terre. Um, I'm so excited. We're walking uphill, so I'm a little out of breath. But it's really beautiful, and I can't wait to show you guys. After exploring Rio Maggiore for a while, we took the train about 10 minutes away to Manarola, the most popular town out of the five villages. We bought the Cinque Terre day cards, which let us use the trains to visit all five towns all day for about 18 euros each. We walked along the path uphill along the grapevines and lemon trees to get a better look at the town from afar and to see some huge jellyfish. We hiked to the top of this really beautiful hill and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you. Hello. Something else gorgeous <laughs> right here. We then visited Vernaza for about an hour where we looked around the amazing town before visiting the ruins of Doria Tower, which gave a beautiful view of the town and the surrounding cliffs. We then visited our last stop of the day, Monterosso al Mer. We visited this really cool Baroque style chapel and the church of San Giovanni Battista before going swimming by this amazing statue named Il Gigante. By around 6.30 at night, we caught the train back to La Spezia to get back on the cruise ship. We then arrived in Couture a couple days later and we woke up to watch the sunrise and the mountains and the hills roll by before the ship docked. about 15 minutes away from Couture and we are going to see Lay of the Rock um, which is this artificial island with this beautiful church on it so let's go see it.
This is the old town of Kator. It's one of my favorite places ever. It's so old and beautiful and it's situated below a mountain fortress. It is also home to so many cats, which you will see a lot of footage of because I love them so much. I didn't get any videos of it, but the old town is also home to me and Julian's favorite antique shop in the world. We arrived in Split, Croatia the next morning and we visited Diocletian's palace practically all day. This palace was created in the 3rd century for the Roman Emperor and the layout is very cool. Jupiter's temple, the shops and the tunnels of the palace and the cathedral were our favorites. This is the Cathedral of St. Domnius, which is considered the oldest Catholic church in the world that is still in use today. The door was beautifully detailed, and the carved stone and the surrounding paintings were amazing. This cathedral was the last stop before heading back to the ship one last time before disembarking back in Italy. In the next part of this journey, we will visit the most beautiful sites in Venice, my favorite city in the world. That is all I have for you all right now. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying this journey with us, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.